Magic creep. Good girl. Good job. You really don't want the bully, do you? Great. Nice job. Good. Girl. Good. So what you just saw is when she was going to be in the crate and I was going to go out of the room or actually open the front door because that's a huge trigger for her is me going out the front door. <clears throat> I turn the music on. We go into the crate. She goes into the crate. She gets a couple of pieces of kibble and a chew in there. I keep it short. I start with five seconds, whatever the dog can normally tolerate. And then I gradually build it up over the course of the weeks. When I come back, I turn the music off. If it was in the same room, if my computer was in the same room, that would be ideal. I would let the dog out and then, and then turn the music off. When I come back, <clears throat> I turn the music off. I let the dog out. I pick up the chew because it's not available except when I'm not in the room. And we go about our business. If I am not leaving, 
I'm doing this. Magic. Great. And my dogs always get something when they go in their crate, but it won't be that high value chew. So she gets that. I am sitting on my couch, watching TV, doing whatever, watching Netflix, trying to sit. But I'm within view of her, so there's no music on. That music is the cue that mommy's leaving and that um, mommy's leaving and that um, she's coming back. If I were not coming back, I would not put the music on. So if I was leaving for the day, God forbid that I do that because when I'm working with a dog with separation related behaviors, I never want to put them over the top. But if I was leaving for the day, I would not put the music on because that is a cue for I am coming back. As we gradually increase it, and I'm not gonna have you sit there and watch for 30 minutes, an hour, while the music is on and I'm out of the room or out of the house. Um, as we gradually increase it, I will increase it to the point that the music is on even when I'm coming back in an hour or two hours, but it needs to be gradual because every time you overface the dog, and um, the dog goes, you, you just lied to me. The music is on and you're never coming back. Um, then every time that trust is, um, every time there's some take away from the trust account, then you go back to step one, whether or not you want to. She has much more difficulty being in the crate when I'm in her presence. So if I'm out of the house, she has no problem with it. But if I'm in her presence, you can see her yawning, you can see her showing all kinds of signs of stress because she wants access to me. This is actually what we should be working on. Um, but I'm in her presence. So for a dog with separation related behaviors, no music is on because we are not working on that right now. I'm gonna do one more repetition if I can get up. You ready, Missy? Ready? Music is on. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what to do. Great. She gets the bully stick. She's trying to figure out who I'm talking to. And the kibble. And right now she's not enjoying bully sticks and so be it. And I don't make a big deal. I just leave the room. And I'm going to go for eight seconds this time. So I'm out of her sight completely. do that in her sight if I want. I let her out or I just come back. But most of us wanted to let the dog out. I pick up the chew that she had even though she didn't want it. She normally loves them. Freak. And she comes out of her crate. The music is off. And we go about our day together.